instead of uh, using getting a wallpaper border, I bought a whole double roll of wallpaper and it was striped and I just cut out the two inches of stripe that I needed and put it around the, the uh, ceiling. Mm -hmm. And so it cost me 20 bucks to do a border. Wow, so that's a lot more than buying a molding or something. But well, it actually it was the underneath accent. the molding, so it really had a nice effect because mm -hmm. it was up against the white molding. Something else you've done is I wanted to tell the folks about that grandfather clock oh, in your house. Listen. Now, wait a minute, just show the, show the picture first. Show the grandfather clock in Shelly's house. Remember that clock? Now, does that is look that real? gorgeous? I want to tell you something, folks. That's called Trump Law. That is painted right on the wall. That's one way to be an upscale tight one. <laughs> Isn't that the best? Isn't that the best? Idea. Well, it was a perfect size wall for a clock, and with the plumbing bill, the clock only cost me like three hundred and fifty dollars. That's amazing. So there was a real face yes. of a clock, the real face and you of a painted clock. around it. And I, yeah, I had a there it on is. the wall. Always wanted that grandfather clock and couldn't afford it. Well, just there paint it you on go. the wall. <laughs> paint it on the wall. Yeah, but, but it leaked, and we had to call plumbers. But it was still a good deal. The clock leaked. Yes. Okay, <laughs> that's great. There's probably somebody out there saying. Yeah, yeah, all this stuff is nice, the pretty dresses, the nice clock. But what if I have a house full of kids here? Well, later in the show, we're going to show you a woman, we're going to let you meet this woman who fed her husband and her six kids on fewer than $200 a month. More cost-saving tips when we come back.